In this year's Ultimate Team, there is loads. There is absolutely loads of brilliant French centre-backs, but there isn't many good French right-backs. So hopefully, this Road to the Final, Road to Knockout, sorry, Mukiele, is going to be a very effective item in-game. If you need some coins to improve your Ultimate Team, look no further than IG Vault for the cheapest coins on the market. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. So this card, obviously, I know I'm speaking the very obvious here, is an 84 overall, but it does have potential to get boosted twice if Leipzig can get out of their group or if Leipzig can win three of their next four Champions League games. You gotta be honest, it's not looking too likely because they are in a group with PSG and Manchester City, so even them getting out of the group looks pretty pretty hard and especially winning, I think they would actually have to win three games to get out of the group, so... It's not looking likely that this card will get upgraded, so we might just be reviewing it as it's going to stay for the rest of FIFA. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see. If you're a Leipzig fan, let me know your thoughts on your chances of getting out of that group. Anyway, we're here to try this card out, and I'm going to hope that it's going to be really good because, as I say, there are not many options for French right-backs in this year's Ultimate Team. So, let's have a look at this card. So, stands at 6'2", so he's pretty tall for a fullback. does come with medium-high wear crates, and also, bad looks of things, does have some pretty nice in-game attributes as well. Obviously not the most mobile for a right back, but um, I, I get the feeling some people might consider switching this guy to be a centre-back in-game, and to be honest, would not be against that at all. He looks like he'd be an absolute beast in that role. Um, just give me a moment to uh, give the right uh, manager, or at least a manager, that will give him full camp. There we go. Anyway, pace obviously looks pretty nice. Nothing too special for a fullback, but we will boost that with a camp style in a moment. Um, for his passing, he's got a 79 crossing stat and the early crosser trait, so that might be useful. Short passing and long passing aren't too bad either. Defensively, really good stand tackle of 87 for this stage of the game. Also nice interceptions of 85. And physically, for a fullback, very good attributes. Decent strength, very high aggression, and uh, also very good jumping. So aerially this guy looks like he'll be an absolute monster. It has to be said, the more I look at this card, the more I think, damn, he would really suit the centre-back role. So, with a basic chem style, this guy is an 87-rated centre-back and a 86-rated right-back, 90-rated CB, and an 87-rated right-back with the anchor, which is just absolutely nuts, and an 89-rated centre-back, 89-rated right-back with the shadow. I think shadow is going to be the chem style we are going to use on him, and to be honest, in this review, I think I'm going to try him out as a right-back, and I'm also going to give him a go as a centre-back as well. Let's do this then. On Mukiele's debut, he's going to be up against an in-form Phil Foden. Pretty nice Premier League sad, but uh, going to have to watch out for that Foden, because uh, if he switches him in-game, then finesses are going to be coming at us hard. Mukiele, I see Mane slowly escaping his man there, but the centre-backs come across, and unfortunately cut out that attack very well. Here is that Phil Foden, he's going to try and get round, but Mukiele says absolutely not. Mukiele goes for the long through ball, finds Joko with a nice pass, Kirantini tries to deal with him, but we are going to get a chance to attack. Okay, here's an opportunity, Phil Foden's going to take on Mukiele. Oh, Mukiele's having none of that, I thought he was about to fall over then. I, I thought he was about to trip over, but he's done really well to reach out and nab that ball. Wow. Wow, that takes some skill. That takes some real skill, that. Mukiele just comes and wipes out Foden. And apparently no foul. We'll take it. 1-0 uh, at the break. Unfortunately, uh, my opponent did score. Nothing to do with Mukiele. Just dribbled really nicely through my centre-backs, which was frustrating. But it is what it is. I feel like a draw would have been fair. But hopefully we can pull it back in the second 45. Oh, I was going to say nice tackle there from Mukiele. But mucked it up. Okay, so that game came to an end. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the winner, which is a bit of a shame. I feel like on another day we could have done something, but it is what it is. I'm just not scoring particularly too well, too nice. My goal scoring ability is just in the bin. Um, but anyway, I thought Mukiele was pretty solid, um, handled Foden well for most part, and yeah, feels pretty strong in that fullback role. Definitely not the quickest at turning for a fullback, but um, yeah, showing some really good strength and some really good tackling ability so far. Straight back into the action we go, and this time we are up against a really nice team featuring the uh, brand, no, not brand new, but relatively new, um, inform star, Ivan Turney. Mane, I see you're free. Is that a left-footed pass? Not too bad, to be fair. Oh, wow. What a start to this game. By the way, they're so broken. That's a disgusting goal. It never should be going in. But what a start to this game. Was in behind. Ivan Turner's going to try and get past Mukiele, but just using pure strength just dispossesses him. 
Get that. Nice. Whoa. Done well there. Done really well there. Get that. Oh, I got a touch on it. Didn't quite get the most convincing tackle on Kerman, but he's going to keep up with him. He eventually is going to nab the ball off him. 2-1 down at the break, which obviously isn't ideal, but it is what it is. We are going to put Mukiele at centre-back for the remainder of this game. Just think he'll do a really good job in that role. Hopefully he proves me right in this second half. Mukiele. Oh, I was surprised that I forgot I put him at centre-back, but uh, deals with that nicely with his head. Balls in behind. Mukiele will clean up. Well positioned to do so. Walker delivers into the box. Mukiele deals with it only as far as Grealish gets a secondary block on it though, or at least it seemed he did. Another game where my finishing really let me down, but honestly, I thought defensively Mukiele was really solid, especially when I put him in that centre back role. Positionally very good, very strong in the tackle, and made some you know key blocks and intercepts as well. So I uh, really did like him in that CB position. Okay, so our time with Mukiele in the squad has now come to an end, and honestly, I thought he was quite good. But I'm going to say straight away, I think he makes for a better centre-back than he does a right-back. I really thought he was good in the centre-back position. And there is reason for that, and we'll get into them uh, in a few moments. But let's first talk about the positives to this card. What did I like about this item? Um, first of all, the physicals were very good. He felt very strong in the tackle, was very aggressive, and just got the job done for the most part defensively. He was very good at just knocking would-be players off the ball, especially fullbacks who definitely cannot match him physically. Um, in regards to his defensive abilities, I thought his tackling was good. I don't think it's, you know, anything outstanding, but it's, it's good enough for this stage of the game, and especially with the Shadow Chem style, it definitely helps him out quite a bit. So, intercept, stand tackling, and side tackling, all pretty solid with this guy. Um, passing, good. Very, very good for this stage of the game. Um, obviously, as we get further on into the cycle, that might get a bit outdated, but for right now, seems absolutely fine, so happy with that. And uh, his pace... I will say, his pace was good, I'm not going to discredit it, but he didn't feel quite as quick as maybe I felt he should have. Obviously with the Shadow Chem style, he gets boosted up to 96 pace, just didn't quite feel that in game for me, which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Now let's come on to just like his ability in game as a defender. The only thing that I didn't really like was the fact that he doesn't quite turn as fast as some other fullbacks do in that position, so that was a little bit of a shame. But now let's talk about him more as a centre back in the uh, in the centre back position. Just class, to be honest. Like positionally outstanding, made some really good blocks, made some really good tackles, and just got the job done. Like really, really is a premium centre back option, which is obviously pretty damn good. But he is the only good French right back available in the game currently, and he is without doubt the best. French right back available so if you need French right back to fit your squad this is without doubt the guy you should be going for it's just a shame that he's actually better as a centre back than he is as a right back so hopefully somewhere down the line EA do release some more special French right backs and I'm pretty sure they will or maybe one of the non-rare ones can pick up you know a pretty good inform but um, all in all, what do I make of this card? Very good for the most part, and for this stage of the game, I do think it's a very viable fullback option, and uh, a very good centre-back option as well. It's a shame it's unlikely to see some upgrades on this card, because it could get really, really good, but um, as I say, with Leipzig looking like they're going to finish bottom as things stand, I don't know if they'll finish bottom, but with them having zero points, I just don't quite fancy them to win three games, and I definitely don't fancy them to get out of that group with Man City and PSG, so unfortunately can't see any upgrades to this card, but hopefully... I am wrong and this card becomes an absolute monster. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Mukiele. If you have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like written on it. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And also subscribe to my new channel uh, exclusively, Just Reviews. There's a link to do so down below as well. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.